Yes. Welcome, my friends, to the hot, hot, hottest show on the internet. It's Talking Mayhem Mania. This show is lit because Liddy <laughs> is here from the main event. Liddy! Liddy, you're here. I'm so happy you're here, Liddy. That was oh, amazing. Oh, my God. I love Liddy. Come on. Oh, yeah, it's so happy. So happy. Look who's on the couch, Sorg. It's the main event. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you didn't seem that happy that yeah, you just, were here. Yeah, he no, no, no you guys, energy. you made this happen. You you all happen. together made this happen. Right. I'm so excited. You guys did great tonight. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. We're trying to make it a thing that maybe, we do maybe, great things yeah, all the yeah. time. Yeah, maybe I it was, won't be another year and a half before we get well, to come. Well, I'm going to tell have Sorg these. that you guys should be back. Before we should be back every quarter. I'm just Jackson saying. Argos is brought back again. The main event has been brought back on for under a back. I'm, I'm not against that at all. Okay. He usually yells Argos at me. and Marcus Mann has been on this show way too much. Well, I mean, Jeez. Okay. every three months you should just check in with us and bring us in. <laughs> we'll bring Liddy. It'll be a good time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Have pizza for us next time. Though. Uh, uh, well, you, you know we can't eat treats. pizza. I know, but I, the, thought, the thought that counts. Oh, you just want to smell it. I want to smell it. All right. Smell it. <laughs> just the smell of pizza is a smell treat. Yeah. Um, so, like, I was concerned. It seems like you guys are not, like, up on the current product. Like, so many other wrestlers, you know, you're, you're, you're doing your thing. So, you don't have a lot, of, a lot of time to think about what else is going on in the world. Well, um, we pick and choose what we are into. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of wrestling to get into. Yeah. Right. That, so, when you guys, like... Yeah. What are you making time to check out, if anything? Old stuff. Old yeah. stuff. Yeah, I I dig like we dig deep into like you know different different genre, different eras. Mm-hmm. Right now we're in the, in the NWA phase, and he's he's watching a lot of Mr. Perfect. I've been uh, Kurt, 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 deep. Hennig, Kurt Hennig. Yeah, so way down the Mr. Perfect rabbit yeah, hole. So yeah, so what we'll do is we'll um, we'll just text each other um, almost assignments like, hey, like who are we checking out this week? Yeah, and we'll check out Legion of Doom for like a whole week. We'll look at Dudley's the whole week, you know, and just watch them, pick up stuff from them, and then we'll message each other like, "Oh, I, I saw a really cool thing that they did here." And um, so I, I feel like we watch the wrestling we watch is more um, informative and educational for us. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When you we brought out this board, I was like nervous because I don't know who half of these people on here are. Yeah, I really yeah. don't. So. I'm looking at this. I'm like, uh, I don't know. But I mean, like, I know who Kofi Kingston is. Yeah, well, yeah. I knew, the <laughs> and War- you know who Leo Rush is, right? I mean, so you're I like, Leo. We know War Raiders all. Yeah, yeah, you know, I know them. You know, um, so, have you been guys been watching some War Raiders stuff lately? Has yeah. that been like part of your something well, you've been into, or at least I watched their pay per view match. Yeah, not, not the pay per view. I sound old as heck. No, it's Do okay. People still call it. Yeah, pay-per-view? you're all right. I saw the NXT TakeOver match. Yeah. When they uh, won the titles? Yeah. Okay. When they won. Uh, well, I've always, like, you know, been, like, a fan of Raymond Rowe. So. Yeah. yeah. Rowe I've always been a fan of. Um, but as a team, I, I haven't really followed them. I know them, and um, they're great. Um, but... Yeah, we're deep in, like, old stuff. Man. It's a lot of old stuff. Yeah, I want to know who these NWA... I, I assume you guys are checking out tag teams. So, like, who are these NWA tag Not teams? Not always. Not, Not always, always but, like, singles guys? But uh, I've been on a Rick Rude when he was in a tag team with Manny Fernandez. Yeah. The Raging Bulls. So, I've been watching that. I've been watching a lot of that and a lot of Min- Midnight Express. Uh, a lot of Rock Roll Express. Uh, and I go in and out of my phases of the Royal Warriors. Yeah. And... That's we were on a Steiner kick for yeah Steiners for a minute. The Steiners, the Outsiders. <laughs> yeah, minute. we dig deep inside of WCW and NWA mm-hmm. type of stuff. Uh, by the time I get to like time we even get to like NXT and uh, NXT or the main roster is like uh, maybe the pay per view time. Yeah, when you hey, get like the longer standard. matches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm t- I could ask you guys what you guys are watching forever. Yeah, I bounce back, be- bounce back between that, WCW, NWA, ECW, and then by the time I'm done watching all this, we're done watching all this old stuff. It's like, oh, it's a pay per view, or maybe we should watch this on the way home, or something like that on a yeah. Sunday. I'm curious. I, I one more one more question about the stuff you guys are watching. I'm sorry. No, 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 like no, no. what you mentioned, the Outsiders. What what is something that you is there anything that you've taken away from watching the Outsiders? 
It's it's nice because it's not like something that I don't think a lot of fans would think like, wow, what a great like you know. Yeah, it's um with them, it's nice because they were two really big guys as a tag team. Um, a lot of people don't think of Scott Hall that way, but you know he was six eight. You know he's a really big yeah. guy. <laughs> um, but next to Kevin Nash, he was like seven one, seven two. Yeah, you look at Hall, you're like, oh, he's an average size guy. He's not. He's huge. Um, so the dynamic of two big guys and how they. Uh, wrestle matches and their chemistry and their dynamic um we pick up a lot from i don't think move wise no i think stylistically it's more of a style thing yeah we we try to pick from different things like i do stuff like with the chokes in the corner with big boots stuff like that i pick from kevin nash uh but the funny thing is that people like watch our matches it's one guy scott hall does all the bumping and then there's another guy kevin nash that doesn't do any bumping yeah and they can figure out who does who who does what in our matches. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to think back to that match I saw at WrestleRex, but I had like three years before I watched that. Yeah. I don't remember a whole lot, though. It was awesome. <laughs> um, okay, Duke. War Raiders versus Nikki Cross and Rhea Ripley. No hesitation. No, like, inner gender. Eh. It was just like, nope. Let's find, like, the meanest team we can find. Let's, you know, throw them in there with this. this I like this a lot. But. Because it it was just too safe. I think. And with I like, Xavier and Kofi. Yeah, yeah. it was going to be a lot. Of, it was going to be them doing cute stuff. And I, it's enough of that in wrestling. Let's yeah. get down. Let's let's see some hitting. Yeah. So I think this match will be a lot more hitting. And, it, and also, like, I think they will try to do, like, cute little not the girl thing. You know what I mean? Not Don't hit her because she's a girl no, they, These are two are perfect for yeah, that. Yeah. Forget all the cute stuff, man. Let's get down to fighting. And I think the Royal Raiders will bring that out of both of them. I keep gushing about Rhea Ripley, but like, I'm serious, man. She's awesome. Mm-hmm. Like, just seeing her in person at NXT on Friday too. She's she's on another level. And um, Leo Rush. Yeah, I'm just I'm a fan of uh, of athletes in in pro wrestling. Um, you know, a lot of times uh, there's some really good pro wrestlers who, in my opinion, aren't great athletes. You can be a really good wrestler and not be a really good athlete. Um, my favorite um, person to refer to is, to me, CM Punk is not an athlete. I've never thought that mm-hmm. ever since I've seen him. Just, and if you're an athlete, you can tell the way people move. Um, just subtle movements. I, like, you're like, that's not an athlete. An athlete wouldn't move like that. Mm-hmm. Right. But to me, personally, he is one of the greatest wrestlers I've ever seen. But so when, when it, you can have a match with two like high caliber athletes like Leo, like Kofi, um, AJ, I would, I would throw in there. Um, Rollins is another yeah. extreme athlete. Um, those are the matches I really uh, like to see, you know, growing up watching people like Chris Jericho and, and Rey Mysterio and guys like that. Um, super fun. Not, and not always flippy. Um, high flyer but just like pure athletes and that's what i kind of get from uh leo and kofi i like the dynamic with the experience too Mm -hmm. like you know that he can kofi would be able to elevate yeah leo would be awesome and of course liddy you know styles and Balor. i mean yeah that's what i'm saying awesome great match he's talking about Balor's stomach six pack yeah yeah. get those abs i know i know i have a wife i know I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Um, anyway, uh, guys, real quick, uh, plug at It's the Main Event. Yes. Mm-hmm. On the Twitters, the main event on Instagram, everywhere. It's the same. Yeah. It's the main event. It's, across it's the all board. good. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Thank you for bringing Liddy. I know Absolutely. it's not easy. It's you tough, know, but you it's know tough. Enough, man. You got to bring him out in the big crate and everything. You know, it's rough. It's actually so. past his bedtime. So I know. So pretty, I want to make sure you tired. guys get out of here. So uh, thanks a lot for... uh, He's probably (laughs) hungry, too. Yeah. Yeah, Go to sleep, Liddy. You're out of here. Uh, (laughs) Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Keep up with everything that's happening. Mayhem Mania. All the past rounds. And um, stay mayhemmy. Oh, my goodness, guys. I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. Probably because Liddy was here. I was a little distracted. We had our second graduated match has made it to the super card. That's right. Boom! Triconics versus Tri Pirates. Congratulations, Bobby F. J. Town. You're coming back.
to make a new match to fill this hole and you get reward, eliminator plus punishment for someone. Ty Cross, we're definitely inviting you back next week because Bobby will get to hand out some punishment and I guarantee it's gonna be good this time. So tune in for that next week. Good job, Bobby. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.